right. Um, nice to meet you, Frank. Nice to meet you. Um, I, gotta, I gotta say, the film's fantastic. Oh, thanks. Um, Thank very you. inspiring. Um, thanks. How did, how did you link up with Alejandro for this? You know, kind of like he says in the film when he was looking for, for Mobius. He was like, ah, oh, how am I going to find him? There's no internet, you know, back mm -hmm. then. I have the internet, so yeah. thank, <laughs> thank goodness. So, um, so a little bit of research and a little bit of searching around a bunch of years ago, and I found uh, he had an agent in Spain. And uh, I contacted, I wrote to his agent, and just said, oh, you know, looking for Alejandro, uh, Alejandro Jodorowsky, looking to tell the story of him and Dune. Um, help. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I looks like she forwarded my email on to him, because a few months later, I opened up my email one morning and there was uh, one of the unread messages was labeled Alejandro Jodorowsky. So, terrifyingly, you know, I was like, <laughs> holy crap, and uh, I clicked on it. And uh, it was a very simple message from him where he just said, oh, I hear you're looking for me and you want to do something uh, about Dune. Well, you need to come to Paris and we need to speak face to face. So great. So I bought a plane ticket and went to Paris and... Uh, and met with him, and it kind of just went from there. But it was really just as simple as that. So he seems very open. He seems he's he's totally open. He's totally you know open to everyone and everybody, and you know he's the best. You know. Yeah. It's a, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so how did you decide to to make this? Uh... I, I think that you know the more you kind of learned about it, you read about it in these little you know. And just sort of grow. Yeah, and you kind of yeah, like the more you learn, the more you the more you want to learn. You know, mm -hmm. and how many, how many unmade films feature a cast like his? You know, have Mick Jagger, have David Carradine, have Orson Welles, have Salvador Dali, have Pink Floyd doing the music, or directed by Alejandro Jodorowsky. I mean, it's magma. I mean, that mm -hmm. was something I was completely unaware yeah, of. Yeah, and I, I was unaware of them. I was like, who is this? You know, what the hell is magma? And then once yeah. you see them and hear them, it's like, holy it's crap! It's so inspired. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> they sing in their own language. Yeah, they made up their own language to sing. So it's so, you know. It's like, yeah, perfect fit. Right? Yeah, perfect fit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I gotta say the film was the film was uh, it exceeded all my expectations. Oh, you know, great! For real. Um, I'm sure you had some expectations going into it as well. Yeah, so if it's a story that you know. Yeah, you know. I was afraid it was going to be the usual sort of talking head right. thing, but right. um, I mean, it's definitely you know we worked hard to make it. Um, this story could easily be just like a DVD extra, mm -hmm. you know, it could be a, you know, 20 minute featurette on one of the many David Lynch versions yeah, that yeah. are out there, you know, it could have easily been that, or, a, you know, a short documentary on a Jodorowsky box set or something, mm -hmm. but it really, we worked really hard to make it its own thing, to make it its own complete, um, complete film. Well, I found the animation sequences yeah. to be really captivating. Yeah, like, our, our animator is a guy named Sid Garin um, out of LA and he's just amazing. He was just like such a light touch, you know, because it's, you're trying not to add any artwork, you're just trying to take these storyboard images and these paintings and all this kind of artwork and kind of just breathe enough life into them where the viewing audience um, can get a better idea of what yeah, Jodo was going for. Sucked into it, yeah. But also you don't want to show them too much because you want their imagination to carry it further. Because I mean, at the end of the day, it's the storyboards are pencil drawings on, on paper. Absolutely, so yeah. So it's kind of that fine balance. And it's, it's interesting, when I, look at, when I look at the documentary and I look at the animated uh, sequences, uh, each one feels so different. You know, like, the style of each one just feels to have like a different texture to it somehow. That he's really, Sid is really incredible. So he was the perfect guy, the perfect, perfect, perfect guy. Yeah, it for was. This film. It was pretty. Yeah, like uh, like Winding Refn at the beginning, talking about, you know, him sitting down with right. Jodorowsky and him walking him through. Do you want to see Dune? I didn't yeah. know you made Dune. Uh -huh, I did. Yeah, and here's the book. And the the production bible. I had only ever seen you know photos of it in in past. And right. So it was pretty amazing to see all that work. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's 3,000 some odd yeah. images are in there. I mean, it's, it's the full movie, yeah. dialogue, everything. Like, it is complete. Um, and that's, you know, that's another reason that we decided, you know, that I thought it was interesting and important to make this movie, because, you know, movies fall apart mm -hmm. every day. You know, every day there's a film that doesn't happen, and usually what is there? It's a couple of screenplay drafts, a casting wish list. Mm -hmm. You know, usually it's not the entire thing ready to go. Every single scene completely drawn out, ready to go. 
that, that, doesn't, that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Well, I think someone said it offhandedly in the, in the film, but I think it's true. Like, no, there's probably no un, unmade film that so much work was I don't think so. actually put into yeah. it. Not that I've ever heard of. No, I mean... For sure. And I was just, I was staggered by the yeah, amount of work. years and years. I mean, this is not just, oh, let's get together mm -hmm. for a few months and draw some stuff out. This was years of work and a whole team of people, and, you know. Well, yeah, I think it's great to shine light on that, too, because, I mean, all the, you know, I'd only ever seen the, the Geiger paintings and a couple of the, the Chris Foss paintings. Right. And that's all, you know, I thought that maybe it was a few pieces right, right and and like you're saying like maybe people embellishing these stories but right. then but it's really there i mean no, it's, it's really, really you know really yeah it's 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 complete you could you could open up that book and you read the entire story yeah it's almost you know? I, I mean they take you a while but uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> we said at the very end uh you know it's like it's there almost to be animated in it. yeah it's like uh, and, and someone's contacted him recently a director, a French director, has contacted him and said, I want to make the animated version. That's marvelous. Um, so I wonder if that'll happen. I, don't I mean, know. that would be marvelous. I mean, yeah. I, mean, I was thinking, you know, thinking about Studio Ghibli or, right. you know, and the Incal. I mean, really, yeah. like how... Well, now the Incal, apparently he wants to do it with Refn. Oh. That the two of them would, would do it together. Um, so that'd be pretty... Yeah, I mean, it would... be pretty would, fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know how they would do that. Like, I don't even know if the technology is there yet. I to do that, but but uh, but they want to, and if anyone can do it, those guys. I think. Yeah. Oh.